Hey everybody, Adam Repos Vox here, and I have another news video when it comes to programs shutting down. Today we're going to talk about Adobe Flash, or Adobe Animate, I believe it was renamed to recently, and Microsoft Paint. But Microsoft Paint actually has a little bit of a twist to it. So, first and foremost, Adobe is finally killing off Flash, but that doesn't mean it's actually dead. Adobe has been working to kill off Flash for a long time. It has been a completely unsafe, easily exploitable, number one source of hacking and stuff for people's computers for a very long time. Adobe, as it says here, Adobe kind of declared back in 2010 it should die. It started dying when the iPhone didn't support it, and they've renamed it. They renamed it to Adobe Animate, and they Flash Professional and they've been trying to revamp it, but they just could not keep up with updates. In the meantime, Google has been moving to replace Flash with HTML5, and it's been a great benefit for all of the internet because HTML5, for pretty much all uses, is pretty much just way better. Adobe has finally decided it's time for it to die. However, that does mean that there will be a three-year um, phasing out process to get rid of it off of the internet because you can't just completely remove stuff from the internet because it's not how it works. Uh, websites and platforms and things like that rely on it even to this day. If you don't use something specific that relies on it, you should pretty much already have it removed from your computer. But if you do, Adobe is working for the next three years to phase it out and move towards purely HTML5. Finally, this is good news, but again, it's worth noting that it is not permanently gone right now. It will take quite some time to move forward with removing it from the internet. However, as I said, if you don't have a specific need for it, please uninstall Adobe Flash from your computer or whatever variant you may have as quickly as possible. In the United States, ISPs can now sell your browsing history and data as internet privacy rules were just rolled back. Don't want that to happen? Then it's time to set up a VPN. Tunnel Bear is offering a free three-day trial of their awesome VPN service for the next month or so. Hide your data, keep your browsing history safe behind a bear. Check the link in the description below or head to eposvox.com slash freebear to learn more. Secondly, yesterday, which was the day I announced another program shutting down development, which was Media Player Classic, and that video went live, but Microsoft released, well, it, Microsoft, I don't think, announced anything, but someone discovered, yeah, a support document which listed that Microsoft Paint would be depreciated with Windows Creator Update, and yesterday was full of the entire internet just kind of outpouring support for Microsoft Paint and being very frustrated and upset that it was shut down. But that's the thing is, it's not actually being removed from Windows. So if you don't know, with Creator's Update, they are moving towards introducing a lot more programs and capabilities to their software. It is the Creator Update, which means they have a lot more creator-centric tools. One of which was already introduced in the anniversary update with this Windows Ink workspace. You get the sticky notes you can draw on, you can take a screenshot and sketch on the screenshot. It recommends other pen related, you know, ink related apps. But there's also this program called Sketchpad, which is kind of like paint on steroids. It's like a cross between Microsoft Paint and Adobe Illustrator. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Uh, but it is not the same thing by any stretch of the imagination. Well, a lot of people have been pointing to that Windows 10 Creators Update has a program over here in the Windows Store called Paint 3D. I'm currently avoiding the Creators Update with every fiber of my being until the last possible minute, although it's catching up with me. So I cannot cover it right now, but I have heard people who have tried it who said it kind of feels familiar. But again, it's more of a Windows Ink tablet related thing and not the same as Microsoft Paint by any stretch. After the outpouring, Microsoft then wanted to confirm that Microsoft Paint is here to stay. They are moving it to the Windows Store. It will still be available for free, and it will still be available. It just won't have... <laughs> Microsoft Paint has been around for 32 years. Holy balls. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, but they wanted to clear up and say that, you know, it's not going anywhere. It may not get any new updates, but it will still be available in the Microsoft Store. And if you have it on your computer, it will stay there. Good news. So again, two more apps that are you know, officially being marked as dead but aren't going away anytime soon either. And it's worth having that context of what is really happening 
uh, because it, uh, the freak the freaking out about certain things is kind of not cool and they even say you know check out paint 3d it's not the same but worth noting so I wanted to pro provide a little bit of good news here about Microsoft paint and paint and talk to it talk about it I haven't honestly used paint in years like in, in any real capacity I have a couple hotkeys that's set up to kind of take a screenshot with it um, but I haven't really used paint in quite a long time but I did use it for pixel art for like Pokemon sprites and things like that way back in the day I have not used it myself but I know lots of people do and I had a couple people comment on my Facebook page when I shared the news saying that they use it on a daily basis for their work and things like that and obviously I think the grade A under A dude uses it for his videos and the like it's still gonna be here it's just gonna be moved to good old Windows 10 store which by the way I have just noticed that uBlock Origin is available again for the creators update so I gotta update my computer at some point and actually deal with that uh, because it's basically going to be Windows 10.3 or you know it's it's a full OS upgrade it's not just like a random update um, but I do want to check out and see if that affects everything or if that just affects Microsoft Edge because that would be interesting to take a look at so I will cover that in a future video hope this was some good news for you hope you enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button get subscribed for more awesome tech videos let me know if you want more news videos like this the media player classic video actually did quite well so that is interesting and I'll see you in the next video. Epos Vox is a Patreon supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.